Hi, I'm Wyoming's Dr. Jackson Crawford. I grew up in a place not too far from here, not too different from this. So I understand the appeal of bringing the old world into the new. But one of the questions that I'm most often asked is how to write modern languages in ancient runes. And the fact is, there's simply no answer because no runic alphabet was designed for use with a modern language like the English that I'm speaking right now. If you decide to do it, you have to make one major decision. Are you going to represent English as it is spelled today or as it is pronounced today? Consider a problem like the simple word horse. Are you going to write that with the rune equivalents of H-O-R-S-E? Or are you going to write it without the E, which represents the way that it's actually pronounced? Or what about a much harder word like, say, a knight, a knight on a dark horse? Are you going to write six runes, K-N-I-G-H-T? If you do, the spelling will be recognizably similar to modern English, but anyone looking at those runes is going to read knicket and is not going to understand what you mean, probably. There is also the issue that if you do write it phonetically, say write uh, knight like a knight on a horse as N-A-I-T, which is maybe the closest thing you can get to it phonetically, uh, the way that the Elder Fudak has written, is anybody going to recognize that as an attempt to write English? Because the spelling is so different from the way that English is spelled. And so beyond that, no runic alphabet has letters that are equivalent to all the letters in the 26 letter Roman alphabet used to write English today, or that are equivalent to all the sounds used in English today. One big sound that's lacking is the sound sh, which we write in English today with sh. If you write S and H together in any Futhark alphabet, this is going to look like a sequence of S and H, like rose hip or something like that. They're not going to look like they form one sound. No old Germanic language except Old English has that sound, but Old English writes it as S C. So you could write it that way, but again, you run into the problem of it being unrecognizable if you write fish as F, -F I S C in runes uh, to somebody who uh, only speaks modern English and it's just trying to decipher runes as kind of a code. So this is a big problem. Do you just invent a totally different rune for the sound show? That's one thing you could do, but then you've left behind the truly authentic old runic alphabets. You also have to decide which runic alphabet you're going to use. Elder Futhark is of course the most popular because it's the best known and has the most mysterious sounding name. But Elder Futhark has 24 runes, whereas Anglo-Frisian runes, which were used to write Old English, has many more runes, sometimes as many as 33 or 34. And many of these can be used to represent sounds in English that aren't used in Elder Futhark. Some of them can also be used to write special diphthongs or sound combinations that are common in Old English and still common in Modern English spelling, like EA, like in heart. So these are all decisions you have to make. And at the end of the day, there's no right answer, just like there's no right answer to how would a Viking vote or something like that, because these are just two different worlds. But whatever you do, I hope you'll consider all of these questions and be consistent. Myself, I never write modern languages and runes unless I'm paid to do so, in which case I typically will write modern English using old English runes and I jury rig some solution like SC for the SH sound. But nothing's perfect because of course, again, you're trying to combine two different worlds. But a lot of us live that way anyway. From Wild and beautiful Wyoming, I'm wishing you all the best.